Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow. It's December 22nd already, somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. It's day 10, and today is Urefesanio's Day. Also, a very, very regular contribution to the advent. Always has like a little something sent over digitally. It was this uh, something file, this RAR file, which I took the liberty of already unzipping, but I didn't look at anything else because that would go against the point of all of that is being done here. So, well, let's uh, read a text first. So before anything else, or wait, there's two texts. Well, I guess a TXT file. Uh, college was extremely rough with my time this year. That's normal. This is why your third year of college, like that's normal, <laughs> like for real. Oh no, I'm feeling a sneeze coming. All right, this has been like two minutes of nothing but sneezing and blowing my nose. I hope I got control over myself again. Please? Please? Bodily reflexes? Can can I be in control now? It's all, it's... <laughs> like, like I'm supposed... Anyway, college was extremely rough with my time this year. Not many ideas for a video were able to flourish. Was only able to follow a Let's Play at the beginning of the year. I'm glad you enjoyed Abiscate, which was my last year advent suggestion for the bucket. You can now proceed to all the other cons in any order you want. Alright, okay. Oh yeah, I can still feel my nose being tickled from the inside. I hate it. Like, please. I don't... I don't want this feature, you know? I want to be able to do what I need to be able to do. Alright, but it looks like what we got. We got... We got a docx and we got two JPEGs. Let's start with the images. From Sevpsych on Instagram. Oh, hey! It's a very balloony demo. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you can see the foots. I mean, the end in nubs, as you would expect. And here is you, 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 Ferrisanio's fourth year demo. There we go. It's more of a sketch. Demo as an, uh, 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 fed up, bad hair day, super tired. That is Demo at her most powerful. Right out of the bed on a day she does not want to be there. And here there's a little cat planet. Second signature. World old world. I cannot read that and it's off camera. I apologize for the hyperfixation in cat planet last year. I didn't have much time to draw. So those were the quickest things to sketch in the bits of spare time. I mean, especially since it was like multiple years after Cat Planet, like at some point it just gets kind of strange, doesn't it? Wow, cool letter, wow, awesome, wow. All right, here we go. Here's the meat. And here we go. So you can see what I can see. Hello, 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 hello. I do not wish for this to be super revolving around me. So I will make this little about my Raoka experience this year section. Very short and concise college. Greetings, Alcow. Hope this year was full of memorable Let's Plays moments, new gags, rehydration of older and prominent gags that already existed before. And, of course, I hope this holiday season is not only lovely and full of smiles for you, but for everyone at a community we're all part of. This year I was lucky enough to enjoy a complete watch of your Let's Play through Ape Escape for the PlayStation experience. I am very glad to have someone as entertaining as you giving insightful commentary as the game goes on and age-related quirks make themselves clear. What aged well, what did poorly, and the general population's wish that this franchise would return. It has been over 12 years since the last Ape Escape game. The apes are firmly contained, I'm afraid to say. So I am more than glad you played through that fun game about monkeys ravaging time periods and stuff. Especially since it was my personal suggestions of last year's letter, I am very thankful for it. I do apologize for not being able to produce a super high quality production value video like the first three years, not even a video at all. Like last year, going over the Raoka related things, mo mostly an overfixation, cast of planets. As I mentioned, college. Does not matter much because I got a friend of mine from the internet and webs and networks to provide a bonus also special guest art piece or bass gat for marketing purposes <laughs> along the year near the regular yearly demo drawing the YDD this time was made with no reference just my memory so drawing is entirely my art style I guess I guess your art art style is very uh, grungy 
which fantastic. That's another thing. I have been introducing a few people to your con once I consider that they would enjoy it. Feels nice to hear them liking it, especially being one of the newer Rao Cow fans, <laughs> quote unquote. What? I am once again grateful for what you have provided for years since the era of Google videos, repeated channel jokes and reference, especially great con. Almost anyone can pick at random and get a nice smile and chuckle out of it. I don't know. I tend to be super self referential sometimes. But hey, if it works, thank you so much for it all. Before I close the letter, and like last year, I want to give a game suggestion to at least be taken to consideration if you find an appeal on this game. Play Carol Blaster, multi-platform. No, I, I mean, it's on the list. Carol Blaster is a game I've been aware of. I know barely anything about it, which is on purpose. That's how you know I'm interested, which is a little paradoxical. But well, last year, this sort of suggestion might have come off as selfish, so do not feel pressured or obligated to make it strictly a let's play candidate on the bucket. You can always play for yourself on a spare time. I only place a name on a table for you to look at it. Uh, hope you have an awesome holiday season. And as always, a very special thanks to Red Mage Susie and the lovely Talkhouse community for being nice and helping this 21 year old Rao Cow enjoy. I forget, you're like so young. And there's Cat Planet slapping. Oh, okay, no, it's eating a cookie. It just looks like it's slapping someone. There's a talk house signature. There's something next page, just like last year. Except you can go go to the next page. But you know, there's some WordPad does not support all the features of this document format. So if there's a next page, I might not have access to it. But can add a TXT extension to the read the text file and open it just like last year. So we're gonna do that. Unbelievable. Let's see, I'm gonna hack the mainframe here. Then go dot txt. Whoa, it's a dex document now. Check it out. It's a virus. List of favorite Rao Cow phrases I randomly recall on my day. Oh man, this is gonna be so embarrassing for me. Like, I'm aware that I could have an influence on y'all people, but this is going to the nitty gritty. <laughs> Did it! I solved the puzzle! That's true. I do say that a lot. Uh, that's right. Okay, it's that. Uh, it's a, uh. And it's a somewhat ag aggressive. Uh, that's right. Yeah, lava caves are not very healthy little cats. Well, I mean, that one is like... Is this, it's... Yeah, I did say that. Owl control! Shoggy owl, yeah. Amazing maze maze. I don't remember either. Yeah, there's a food song. Angel Confetti's for All is from the Angel Confetti for All game. Jump didn't jump. Yeah, I wish, I wish it was in several instances. Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, Hatricia. Alright, that's I ha well 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 I, I I hope that once your college time is over or you get some form of something that resembles a break, you can at least watch Cave Story if you take the time to mention it in the secret menu here. Like, that's just sad. But see, you, you know what I find outstanding about this, about you, Farisanyo's uh, little offering today? Uh, uh, it's the fact that you took the time to write this down and organize all this and bring this all up to me. And you've admitted it to yourself that you didn't even really watch me this year other than like one series. I mean, you know, it was not a short series, but one series at the start of the year. And yet... And yet, you know, you, you, you find the time. There is enough reason for you to go ahead and forge all this and bring it over to me. Uh, that's what I find wild. Like, that's what I find just absolutely unbelievable. And uh, thank you. Yeah, there's, we don't do that yet. Because we're not quite done. Because, well, okay. Well, I mean, we're, we're done with uh, so officially on the list. But Emerald, which I refer to very often as Angel, has an ambush of little substance over here on the talk house. Okay, okay, so it's a letter. I'm going to trust you. It's on Angel. It's, it is on talkhouse.com, so. Hey, oh, it's Dennis. It's. 
<laughs> it's Dennis from a certain game. Uh, <laughs> hello, how cow. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Yes, it is me, Thwomp Dennis. You finally met me. I have. I'm so glad I get to meet you finally, my friend. Uh, Valhalla is easier to visit in a winter, Northern Hemisphere, so I'm glad you made it. Ho, ho, ho! I will now read your mind and answer the questions you have for me. Fantastic, man. Oh, uh, I'm so glad we finally get this opportunity. Yeah, these are great questions three. I will answer them in order. No, that's not true. I wish to see him too someday. And unfortunately, the socioeconomic situation there isn't going to improve anytime soon. I share your concerns. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Well, okay. I'm glad we finally got these verified answers. You know, it's a little bit delayed, but I'm glad we finally, you know, get some proper last answers there. Video games. You know, Santa visits Valhalla, too. He actually gave me a something for you to read. I will quote it in a high-pitched voice now. It's me, Angel. This is my voice. I hope your hair was good. I thought you could play. Wow, cringe. I can't bring myself to read any further. <laughs> You're always a guest in the Valhalla halls. <laughs> Till next year, Dennis. There's a part that doesn't fit on the screen, and I'm gonna continue to read. Editors, no. This message does not apply. New Betterify Con next year is just a kind way to end the letter. Dennis thinks. No, no. I, I get it. No, I, I. I did not read until next year to mean next year there's going to be better if I DLC. I did not think that at all. I just did think until next year is a way you can end a sentence. Like, it's the kind of thing I read and I and I register it. I register the words, but not necessarily the meaning. The English language and every language is just covered with this stuff. With those kinds of little words that don't really mean what they mean. They, they, they exist out of social construct. Even more so than language normally is. <laughs> that was cute though. It was pretty good. Thank you, Angel, for bringing me this message from Dennis. I appreciate it quite a bit. Well, check it out. There's nine pending gifts here in the list. What does that even mean? It means there are nine games. It means it's too much. We're, we're just going right in. We are not... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I think it was... What? What? Where did I mention this? I mentioned this somewhere. And I got a ping from Slight Cat uh, yesterday. And I figured that would be for the Rain World DLC. Whoa. Slug Cat. Slug Cats be upon ye. Merry Wawa mess. Rao Slug. Over and out. Slug Cat with a gun. A.K.A. Slug Cat. No, oh, yeah, that's the... So, Rain World is on the docket to be played soon. Uh, Downpour is a DLC. From what I understand, Downpour, like, multiplies the length of the game by five. And it's already kind of a long game. So, depending on how my Rain World experience... While I might play Downpour, I doubt it's going to be part of my Rain World run. Rain World Downpour is a DLC expansion of Rain World. Take control of five new characters with new abilities in this vast, redefined world. Slug cats have adapted to the harsh conditions alongside evolved predators. Survive new environments, condition dangers, and explore uncharted territory. Fantastic. Sounds like... Why is it like that? Why, why is it... In Steam? Wait, what? Oh, I clicked on install by accident, didn't I? No, I understand why I did that now. It's because, like I said, I got Rain World installed on my computer because I know I'm going to be playing it. And so I accepted the DLC, so it just automatically installed itself. I guess that makes sense. And I just. It's the first time that happens. It's the first time I received DLC of a game that I have, like, ready to play. Okay, well, that tracks. That makes sense. All right, so hey, Kip the Kip. Yeah, after confirming how old gifts were yesterday, let's see how Steam deals with this one. I have to click the thing that isn't add to the library if it breaks. Your turn. So Magicka 2, Sneak Peek GIF. I don't know what this is, so I'm just going to do that. But this gift is already in my library. So how does that, how does that work? Like, I don't want to do this, like, uh, 
do you have the ability to refuse? Because it says I already have it in my library, so I'm not gonna add it to my Steam gift inventory if, you know? This is really weird, because yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess around with this one. I'm just gonna wait, I'm gonna let it there to give you a chance to retract it, if that's a thing. Uh, we'll see what happens, but here, I'm, in fact, not John Wick, he throws bags in this game. Hopefully the other gift don't require you to interact with the old haunted sea. I don't know. I don't know if, because it says I already got it, but here's this, it is payday, it's all the payday twos. See, this, I can add to my library. And it worked. Whoa. Let me just go real quick here. I am very confused. Do I? Do I already have Final Fantasy X? Let me check. Before we do anything, um... Yeah! Uh, <laughs> I already have Final Fantasy X and X HD Remix, so... Dude. I am surprised that it let you... Sorta... Let you sent it over? Well, enjoy a duology of games where you play as an underwater footballer in one, and the Gunslinger Idol in the other. Oh, yeah, because it's X and X2. I never played X. It's a game with a laugh thing, but I did play 10-2. I did play X2 uh, on the PS2, I think. I'm not sure why. I I don't know. I thought it sounded weird. I mean, that's the reality. It did sound weird in a way that Final Fantasies typically are not. I am forced to decline. I already got this. Apparently. Weird. Sorry. Well, I mean... The effort was made. <coughs> like, I don't know what's gonna happen with it now. You just kind of have it floating? Because, like, is it still counted as bot? Like, that's so weird. Like, I do apologize. I mean, you realize I had seven, but where did the ten come from? Was it also there, but you didn't see it? I don't know what's going on. All right, here I'm going to do the same thing. The game... the. Steam says I already got this one, but I don't know. I mean, I could just look. Magicka 2. Do I have that? I could just look. Yeah, that's weird, because I looked, I'm not, I didn't see a Magicka, so I don't know why the game didn't want me it. I don't understand there. I'm just very confused today, like, there's just some really weird stuff going on. 10th day of Christmas, S.A. Jewers is like, you received a new car, price is right meme, that's right, uh, it's Jalopy! Build, repair, refuel, and drive a dilapidated old car on a grand journey through the territories of the former Eastern Bloc. Explore real life, I'm sure, Germany, Hungary, Yugoslavia, and Bulgaria. Jalopy. So, I feel like there's a there, that's like a, a genre of game in and of itself, isn't it? Like, just like... The, the game where you are remaking, like, build, like, like, fixing up, like, a car of some kind. Like, I feel like that's a genre of some kind at this point. And Jalopy's one of those. All right, nigga note again. Ambush cow, horror cow. Well, it's just words coming out in the wrong order. Here's another creepy game from the same guy who made Squirrel Stapler. Both this and Squirrel Stapler are, like, only an hour long each. Bitwa, have fun. 
Neganote, Neganote, horror game where you pilot tiny submarine through an ocean of blood on an alien moon. Why is it called Iron Lung? Right, it's a horror game though, that sounds pretty scary. I've never been much into horror game, but like I'm not much into horror like itself as a concept. Um, it's just not a thing I, I'm into, but it's pretty funny because I love horror aesthetic. Like, the thumbnail that we saw for that thing, I thought it looked super rad. So, it's just kind of weird. It's a real weird match. I don't know how to explain it. I think it makes sense, but I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's not too late. Oh, man. This game scratches a very specific itch of the good old hyper-violence. Similar-ish to Fear. Was surgery planning on more music since No Time for Games uh, over and out? You! Is it too late for this? Well, not for this. Tripping 2. Goran Action Pack FPS in the near future. I don't know if I've heard of this. Tripping 2. Well, Tripping Square, according to the logo, but Tripping 2, according to the name there. Huh. It has people with, like, glowy goggles. So that's how, you know, things are going all right. <laughs> Once we have glowing goggles. Everything is doing great. That's the rule. That's the law. Hey, Maiku, it's been a while since I heard from you. Bodacious bovine fellow, happy 10th advent. A beat em up RPG mashup for Christmas. Heck yeah. I hope you enjoy it. Joy Noel, here's to 2024 and 10 more advents at least. Will I even live that long? According to the human average, probably. Best wishes, the Wodaharu family. Yo, well, man, just seeing you here. Well, seeing words written by you here. Oh, that feels nice. Hey, I hope you're doing great. Uh, recall last time, things were going kind of middling. So, uh, I hope things are going great now. It's not more of a hope. I am imposing the rule upon the universe that you are doing great. Yeah, yeah, Yakuza Kiwami. Like, I know of the Yakuza series. It's kind of hard not to. You know, it has exploded in reach and popularity. Sega's critically acclimated entry that start a legend become Kazuma Kiryu, an up-and-coming Yakuza who takes the fall for the murder of a crime boss, only to emerge from prison ten years later to a changed world. Uh, Remastered from the ground up, now it's full of beans. All the beans you would want on a computer, and they're called Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just said it, so it's probably accurate. Mr. Cow, when was the last time you watched TV? <laughs> a long time ago. Probably forever ago. I think you should fix that. And once again, it doesn't let me accept it, because it's a game I already have. So now it lets you... Yeah, I remember receiving Salamander County Public Television before. I remember watching the trailer and being confused. And I accepted it. And Steam let you gifted it, even though I already have it. I know that Steam changed a thing, but I guess this is a thing that happened in the change. Now people can gift things that the person already had. This is going to cause problems. I have to decline it. I already own this, Susie. I don't know why or how Steam let you get it for me. That doesn't make sense. Well, um, the fact that Steam can now buy other people games they already own is a problem. And um, we should probably... Let Steam know that that Valve know at the very least that that's kind of an issue, or at the very least it can become an issue. Because now, like, I just kind of feel weird about you know a few people who got a thing over and they can't, and you know, and it's like okay, and it's like what do we do about that? It's just it's just kind of uh huh. I mean, if you still have the game in inventory, I'm sure that giving it out to someone else is not going to be too challenging. It's just, I don't know. To me, it just kind of sits weird. Uh, oh, this is, yeah, this is a really weird feeling. And we're ending like that? Wow, that's even worse.